let's have a look at embedding your Wobo workbook in Thinkific. So why would you do this? This will let you show your workbook within your Thinkific course in a Thinkific multimedia lesson. So when your students are going through your course, they'll come across this lesson. And once you have the, the Thinkific app installed, they don't need to log in. They don't need to sign up for an account or be invited. They don't even need to click a button. It'll just load. And what the app does is create them a Wobo account using their Thinkific credentials. So they don't even necessarily know that it's an outside tool and it's not branded at all. So I'll show you how to set it up. And then I'll also show you the student experience. So I'm in a brand new workbook that I haven't published yet. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is hit this share button. So you can give the student group a name. That's helpful if you're running a cohort based course, you could say, you know, spring 2022, choose start and end dates if you wanted. If your course is evergreen, just keep that option off and keep going. So I already have the Thinkific app installed. If you don't have it installed yet, instead of being able to select a module right away, you'll get a prompt to install the app. So do that and then come back. It's one screen, it's really straightforward. There is a separate video going through that workflow. So when you're ready to embed, you can choose either the entire workbook or just one module, which is a group of sections. These are the modules here on the left. So I'll do a module and then I'll also show you uh, a section. So choosing my module, all you do is copy the module URL head over to Thinkific and open a multimedia lesson. Um, so I have one here, I'm just gonna swap this link out. And then when you preview, you're gonna see exactly what your students would see. So I'm gonna go to the current lesson. So you'll notice it just loads and my work just workbook just appears. So if I'm a student who's never accessed the workbook before, it's gonna create me an account. If I have, it's gonna recognize that and log me back in. So the really nice part about that is that if I had responses in here, they're gonna show up again. So I get to actually keep my progress, pick up where I left off. So this is one module at a time, just as an example. So students can go ahead and fill their workbook right away. The responses are saved as they go. Um, I'll show you an entire workbook the navigation is slightly different, so you can move between modules. So you get this little navigation bar up here, so you can uh, move between modules that way. So heading back to Wobble, I'll show you what that looks like now that there's actually students. So up at the top, you'll see view students now that you've shared the workbook. And as your students access in Thinkific, they'll show up here. So we're pulling their information from Thinkific. You can see their progress, and then you can view their workbook or download it from here.